What's good? It's your boy Dot from Dot Me Now Coaching and Enterprises. To know more about me, watch the Who Am I playlist on my channel. With that being said, spiritual intelligence, right? Spiritual means to be of the spirit or a non-physical part of yourself. Intelligence means the ability to know and then act out that knowledge. So spiritual intelligence is the ability to know and then act out the knowledge of your non-physical self and or the spirit, the spirit being the creative and sustaining force of the universe that people call God, the source and all that type of stuff. So that's how you become more spiritually intelligent. You'd have to actually, you know, know your non-physical self, your higher self. You have to know the source, the spirit and stuff like that. And the more you connect with that, the more spiritual intelligence you actually gain, which, which we're going to talk more about that. Right. But right now, let's also talk about wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge that's coupled with experience, you know what I'm saying? So, so to become wise spiritually, right, you need to actually learn spiritual knowledge and then actually experience that knowledge, you know what I'm saying? The reason for all these spiritual texts is because reading spiritual texts helps you purify your thoughts and it helps you to pretty much make your thought process align with your higher self, with the source, with the spirit, with God, whatever you want to say. And as you like naturally connect with that higher self and that higher power you start to naturally like you you start to you start to experience what you learn and it'll turn into wisdom and you're also going to know if what you're learning is correct so ultimately to become um spiritually intelligent and wise right you would have if you see me looking up here i'm looking at a little outline if you if you want to become more spiritually intelligent and wise right you would have to pretty much know yourself on that higher level on that non physical level you have to know your higher self, the source, the spirit, and you have to actually study spiritual texts and stuff like that to connect with the non-physical part of yourself, right? I made a video about starting a spiritual journey. It talks about that, but ultimately, bro, prayer and meditation are the main ways. Meditation is the actual way that you actually experience that non-physical part of yourself, but prayer helps you invoke it. Now, you could also do yoga postures. You could do certain dances or rituals, or you could take like a bath or something like that or or whatever, whatever helps you to feel more connected to your higher self and not physical part of yourself and to God, the source of stuff like that, do those things. But ultimately, meditation is the main way you connect to that higher part of yourself. You can actually do some dance and then meditate after the dance. You know what I'm saying? But prayer also helps you invoke that also. You know what I'm saying? And then as you do that, as you get closer, you know, to... um. As you get closer to, you know, your higher self and your higher power or whatnot, right? You start to actually, like, like I said, you'll start to know. You'll actually be led to study certain things. And you'll know if what you're studying is correct. And you'll actually start to experience your spiritual knowledge. Because, like I said, to become wise, you got to read certain spiritual texts, spiritual books, uh, listen to spiritual lectures or something like that. You just got to learn spiritual knowledge, right? And the thing is... You can experience that knowledge by actually doing something inside the outside world, but that's not the only way. Because when you meditate, you can actually experience what you learn and then actually understand it deeper and experience it and then turn it into wisdom. So that way, when you do act it out inside here, you actually do it properly. Because sometimes you can have a certain teaching, think that you understand it, and because you think you understand it, you act it out in the wrong way. But when you actually experience it inside yourself, then you act it out, you already go through a whole a whole bunch of um understanding and embodiment of the principle. Therefore... You, you know what I'm saying? You actually become able to, um, let you become able to, um, you know, act it out properly. So with that being said, right, I also want to talk about this myth about, uh, Isis and Ra. Because Isis, right, is an Egyptian deity. Right there. Her name's also a set, right? And Ra is like, is the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Now, in order for her, because she wants to find out Ra's real name, because Ra's real name is not Ra. That's just like physical, you know, secular name, right? But to find out his to find out his actual name, she had to literally unify with Ra. So she meditated. She did all this, all this stuff and eventually meditated to become one with Ra. And the myth shows you that in order to actually know something, you got to actually embody that, which is why you got to embody your higher self and your higher power and stuff like that to actually become spiritually intelligent. You know what I'm saying? And you'll gain the wisdom as you start to learn spiritual texts and stuff like that. Because even though you can like know yourself, knowing, knowing yourself is not intellectual, but you can still build intellectual concepts for yourself, but you are not a concept. Therefore, you cannot be conceptualized anyway with that being said con concepts still help a lot and that's why when you actually have the connection to your higher self you start knowing how to properly you know carry out what you're learning and stuff like that you know what i'm saying because when it comes to logic and stuff like that right logic is indefinite logic is always going to change so when you actually know yourself you start knowing how to properly use logic at the right time and stuff like that you don't get attached to any type of logic and stuff like that you see what i'm saying so 
deities deities could also help you become more intelligent like thoughts is the deity of intelligence i'm gonna make a video about i mean i already have videos on thoughts but I'm, I'm gonna make another one about thought and how he can make you more intelligent and stuff like that and how to work with him and stuff like that you see what i'm saying so ultimately to become spiritually intelligent i'm going really fast in order to become spiritually intelligent ultimately you got to be able to know your higher self and your higher power whether that be god the source the universe whatever and you got to also study certain spiritual texts and then in spiritual knowledge you know and actually learn that type of stuff and then actually start to experience your knowledge whether it be in meditation and or through actual experience inside the outside world with that being said it's been your boy dot from dot me now coaching dot me now enterprises and adopt me now foundation you can learn more about me from the who am i playlist you could book a session with me down below uh birth chart coaching and i do spiritual growth sessions you can also uh join my patreon the five dollar one has exclusive insight into my life the ten dollar one has um a ex uh, exclusive book club on top of the insight into my life you can also donate to the channel down below and stuff like that help support the channel and everything like that it's been your boy dot from dot me now from the dot me now franchise <laughs> i'll catch you guys in my next video peace